We're fogged. The draft has begun. And I'm not surprised. There we have it. Hellraiser is banning out the uh, spirit at least. Yep. I, won't, I won't be surprised if we see Death Prophet as well in the second phase. Just get these heroes out of here that IG are. Uh, they're going to beat you with. Yeah. There's no question there. They, they will beat you with these heroes. They can't match the aggression of a book as their spirit. Yeah. Might as well get rid of it. Next assassin. Of course, heist, one of the highest run rate heroes. 80%. With 30 picks, which is absurd for the Knicks. So those two bands definitely making sense. And uh, four, the fours seem to be the targets of these first two bands. Joe, what's, what, what are the other big Baboka heroes other than the Earth Spirit? Uh, the Knicks. The, the Knicks, Sanking. yeah. Oh, the Sanking, just yeah. The, yeah, just the same. Similar to the majority of the teams, right? Yeah. Just those were Omers. Well, actually opening up with the Lich. I mean, that, again, a very strong hero at the moment. Yep. Picked a lot. It's actually, been picked. Yeah, looked a lot. Yeah, it's been picked games. up a lot in the first two. It was banned out last game, right? Yeah, it was banned out first two last. Yeah, game. it was when it yeah, the, yeah. HR banned that instead of the instead of the Earth Spirit. So this time they do get the Lich, which has been yeah super popular across all the group stages now. After the after the first day, first day was Shadow Shaman Venom and Earth. Second day was Lich and I don't remember what the other hero was. And now uh, people are yeah, starting to get it. it? Uh, we, got, we had a lot of Shaker. I mean, we had a lot yeah, of Lich Shaker. Lot of Sand King. Kind of yeah. yeah. Then third day kind of became back toward the Puck Sand King thing that we were used to. Yeah, Puck Sand King's hot. Yeah, it doesn't have the greatest win rate, but everyone's picking it too, so it does, of course. Yeah, I guess drop that's right, because you, you are going to have the lesser teams, like, copying the top teams. Yeah. In that sense. And what, Dazzle? Okay, Dazzle. Alright. First pick. So, yeah, I think if you're Hellraisers, you just straight up pick an axe. <laughs> I mean, you may have, you may want to. I know that they do actually play it now. They, they strike me as the kind of team that will. I'm sure 33 can 30, play axe. I'm pretty sure 33 plays axe, yeah. Yeah. So IG, they grab the Dazzle. That's a good way to deal with the uh, Lich armor right away, right? Uh, weave can, later on, not of course early in the game, but that's probably not what they're going for. They're probably going for more of a push lineup. Oh, there, yeah, IG, no. Just take the DP. There's, there's going to be a chance this gets banned out, and they, they're so good at playing around it. Such a strong hero at the moment. Yeah, Dazzle DP. It's scary. So much, so yeah. so good. The sustain for the push is incredibly good. So now for the later stages, uh, from what we've been actually hearing and seeing is teams now when they play versus the Lich, they tend to pick a defusal carry. Yes. So the PLs Ooh, yeah. or edgy carries in general to build that defusal blade to I remove mean, that armor. I mean, to be fair, Burning could indeed just play the troll again. Yeah, he you could know just know play I mean? troll There's again. No reason to not play the troll. I wonder if how it is even... I think they'll ban it. ban it? You I think, think they, they should the probably ban yeah, it. Yeah. Even though I would say that IG tends to leave Burning's hero mostly for last, it's, pro it's, a, it's definitely a possibility that they pick up third, fourth troll warlord. Yeah, definitely. Our hair raises, come on. Let's see something different and exciting. Just pick the axe. Pick the void. The void? I, I don't know. know. Pick something. Change it up. I don't know. They're str I mean, they're yeah, struggling. Yeah, void's not bad. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, void. Yeah, I like that. Void or axe. Gives him a good. Gives yeah. him a good lane already, right? Gives him the lich void. It's always fun. Maybe maybe the legion commander could be decent. One of those kind of pairings, just to have themselves really strong lanes. Maybe even just pick the silencer. We've seen that have a lot of success against. A lot of lineups. And it's good versus dazzle the lineup. Dazzle. As yeah. long as you have Initiator, though. Then they, but then if they, if they pick the Silencer yeah. here, then we'll see IG ban out the bah, big starters, the, the Bad, the Legion. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see which one they want to go for. There's your they Void. They do take the Void. There's yeah. your Void. Okay. Cool. Okay. Void Lich combo is nice. Chrono and Chain Frost and Lanes, of course, is pretty cool. However, Death Prophet is a very good hero versus Void because you have a built-in Silence. I mean, to be fair, maybe IG themselves pick the Silencer. You know, they're, they're a team that they, they play it. They play a core, don't they? In the past? Has Burning played some core run. silencer? I think I've seen them run. I don't think at this tournament, but I definitely have seen them ran, yeah. run a silencer before. So let's scroll through. Let's see how wrong we are. I'm going to scroll through. Yeah, at see, least. let's see how wrong. I'm going to scroll through score, 30 then? games and see, see if, if we've won silencer. silencer. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, there we go. We got one. Uh, where? Wait, wait, there, at the bottom of that page. Oh, we yeah, lost right. it. I see it Who now. played it? Who That's played it? That's from MDL. Let's find out. Okay, then they did play a support. Was it Q? I clicked the wrong button every time. There we go. It was. Yeah, Q, Q silencer. Okay. Yeah, yeah, and they picked it with the Death Prophet, didn't they? So yeah, let's yeah, they go. Did. And silencer. with the Troll Warlord, dude. Yeah, just pick Silencer Troll and you win the game. Either. <laughs> they may just do that. They, they absolutely may. Just but that do time that. they did have bad. a they did have a hard stun, and it would be Q playing it. Okay. And Dazzle, I think that's Q's hero already. Uh, okay, I don't yeah. really see Baboka playing. Yeah, the oh, that, that is true. That so. is true. Yeah. I think something else, an initiator, or some way to point to start, uh, some way to start the fight for Baboka. Some type of like Sanking, just some lockdown. Sanking, Slardar. Maybe they maybe the slardar because maybe they want to just do super minus armor with the oh, yeah, dazzle death yeah, prophet yeah. slardar. They can just do all that in unison. Be able yeah, to always take death objectives. Death prophet slardar, that's nasty. Yeah, that. 
That certainly, and that certainly could be a Boboka player. If they want to do that. I think Sinking might be more likely just because of the popularity of it. Slaughter is, you know, Slaughter's falling off. So they ban the they ban the heroes that can help themselves middle. The Puck and the Co-op. So I'm thinking Boboka's going to play something that he's going to sit on mid with. Just to make this Death Prophet's life that much easier. I mean, Hell Raisers, I think it was just saying. Ban the troll. Ban, ban. Just ban. Ban those diffuser blades. They're orders. in such fear from that last game, I would imagine that they can, right? They banned out the Earth Spirit, they banned out the Bat. What other heroes are left? The Disruptor? <laughs> but yeah, IG's not going to Oh, you know what? Game. I would love to see. And I reckon they could do it. What about the Baboka Ricky? Oh, that could be fun. That that could be pretty nice, couldn't it? I would with the weave and the ultimate. I probably want them, out the void. I probably want them to have a disabler on Baboka, oh, okay. I think this game, but it could oh, be it's interesting. Still, yeah, this still to lack of stuns. Yeah, smoke screen could be cool versus void, but yeah. since they have a dazzle support, it makes it well yeah. a little too weak for you. Like yeah, that, so. yeah. Because okay. then they have to have XXS on some big, big like stunning hero, like some tide hunter or some some Magnus. I don't think they've ran Mag in a long time though, but. It was oh, one of you're his right. Best. They haven't. And they, yeah, it is one of his best. Yeah, let's get some Magnus in. I was I'm, down, before, I'm down for some Magnus, I was saying dude. before this game, I was like... I'm down for Mag Troll. Let's go. He's had a great rim rate. I think it was seven games, and it's up there in the 80% win rate with the Magnus. Yeah, I mean, LGD's been, of course, inflating that win rate. Nah, there's the one they you're go for the, yeah, yeah, the sinking. The safe guaranteed stun. 2.17 2 second duration versus Void. Okay, HR goes for a bounty. So a vision hero to be able to find the Dazzle in the back lines, and... They are trying to address the lanes in this game. They picked the Lich first on to help the lanes, and now Bounty to assist lanes on the sides, too. Ten seconds remaining. So they're trying to... I think it's last game, they probably they may be thinking, our lanes went so crappy that we thought we couldn't fight. Remaining. Now they're trying to make that adjustment. But they also have the Lich Void, which is pretty cool for Team I, I mean, I'm, I'm still... I mean, my fingers are crossed for some Mag Troll. Now that, now that we mentioned it, I'm, I'm hoping yeah. for some ice. Yeah, the, the, it would be a perfect finisher here. I think that'd be that'd be fun. Definitely the troll, at least that that definitely. There's got to be high on the mind, unless IG do just want to, you know, do want to switch it up and and try something else out. Maybe feeling very confident in this head to head, and uh, feel like they can get burning on something else for uh, for the change. I mean, I still still said it first game, burning morphling. Let's let's get some morphling out. <laughs> you know, this game again. No silences. Easy morph. I'm still leaning on the troll. <laughs> oh, the burning Terra Blade. Let's get Terra Blade. Actually, no, Terra Blade, not great. Oh, that wouldn't be too bad. There's Legion. XXSs. Okay, I mean, so that's XXS okay. zero. Not a mag. But. Dude, the burning silencer. Let's go. You got the Legion. Yeah, they've got the they've got the hero to start. They've got two heroes now to start the fight. Legion can be pretty pretty nice here because those heroes do nothing to him in the lane. He's gonna... XX is gonna get like full experience in this game. He's gonna be super high level. It's gonna be similar to the last one where he pressures. Maybe we see Baboka actually play around him. Maybe... Okay, maybe they pick Burning, a self-reliant hero, and they actually put like Dazzle Legion top to build the pressure even more. Well, like a Burning Weaver? I don't know. Something something like... I don't know about Weaver versus Void, but something, okay. they, something they can leave him a bit alone with because I already think that this Legion Commander is gonna have like the freest game ever in that top lane. Lich Bounty Hunter, not really great at zoning heroes out early on maybe once they get a couple levels but Ten we'll see where this lich and void actually go because we don't know is this a safe lane void is this an off lane void we're not a hundred percent sure yet i think it'd be most likely to be off lane more than likely so yeah. i think 33 players done it yeah and that's why ig are thinking as well with the ursa ban yeah they're like how many users lineup is lacking damage all they have is really the lena and and lich ulti inside chrono Bounty Hunter and Lich's damage is pretty underwhelming until they get high levels, until they get their sixes. So now the Legion's able to, at least, you know, he can purge off the track. They've got that now guaranteed more lockdown for the Faceless Void for IG. Can be quite nice. Where is this band going to go? Still looking at Burning's heroes. I think you still have to ban the Troll as well. Yeah, I think the Troll is definitely the one that's going to be on the mind. Because even with the Legion, you know, you have your Battle Trance plus yeah. Legion can be pretty devastating. And he just fits so well into Death Prophet Dazzle. And there we yeah, have it. There's right the there. Cholman. Is there any chance that we see IG go full dirt and whip out a burning Husker? 
Oh, that would really it would, that would be devastating. It would it would kind of suck. For oh, hands, I hope they it? do it. I hope they, just they pick do it. Oscar. I don't think they will, but they, they might. <laughs> <laughs> well, Zero's got it. Oh, oh, okay, no, 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 no. Okay, yeah. Maybe not anymore. That, that's good. That's good. Timber saw. So that'll be the off laner, right? Yeah, I guess so. So it is a safe lane void. All right. Or maybe they. I mean, want the Legion versus the Timber versus the Legion somehow? Legion does okay. Yeah. Legion does okay in that matchup yeah. though. Let's see what IG2 do here with this final one. Dude, switch, switch, switch. Not a lot of time. They've only got like 10 seconds. No, no, yeah. They've got to make a choice quick. And here we go. This is the Sven. Okay. So, one of those heroes. Feels like it's picked quite a lot of the time in reaction to the Void. As it, it's a core that doesn't doesn't care too much about being Chrono. Chances are you can live for it. But you are picking uh, this melee strength hero into a Timbersaw lineup. You know, if the Timbersaw starts to go ham. You know, Timber does not give a damn about the war cry on Sven. So Timber offlane. Okay, and yeah. it is yes, with standing void. All right. I mean, I think overall, I th I kind of fancy Harry's chances better than what they had in game one. Yeah, they've got this time around. They've got a little bit of better lanes. Playing with bounty hunter can be a bit tricky though. You get behind, especially if you're playing a bounty hunter versus a death prophet dazzle lineup. There's a time where they may just actually take all your buildings set, but. That being said, Sven does take a little bit of time to get online. It's... We'll see. I mean, it feels like... A, yeah, you know I mean? You say with the bounty hunters, it's like, who do you gank at the start? It's None of these heroes... All three so cores tanky. are so hard to gank. Yeah, yeah. Death Prophet's like one of the hardest heroes to gank in the mid lane. Legion Command is going to be fine after a couple of levels, and Sven, he's just going to war cry out of there. It's going to be so hard for Milan to do anything. Yeah, I like... I really like IG's lineup, yeah. to be honest. <laughs> Helps that they're IG versus HR in this true, round, but true, yeah. theirs is just it's comfort picks, and, and I, I don't know if I don't know if they're gonna be able to relieve like relieve the pressure because of this death profit in order to pressure Sven. It's just that they have so many things that they have to deal with pretty much on the side of HR. It's legion can gonna get a good lane top. They have to make sure that the Sven doesn't free farm, but then it's OP. You know, there's just those three cores are definitely big issues, and they don't have great ways of shutting them down. So let's see how they do end up deciding how the lanes go. It looks like 33 wants to be matched up versus the Legion, as we said. And they're going to put Swift Ending top. So they're going to do Lich Void top, but it's the Carry Void. And they're setting up the Timber in a 1v1 versus Legion. And the Bounty's just going to run around and try to mirror Baboka's movements. Alright. That's a little bit better. At least the Timber's going to get farm and level, so he's not sacked by any means. IG looks like, they, looks like they want to smoke up. This is the old way to deal with Bounty Hunter. You smoke right away at the start, you carry dust, and if your smoke breaks, pop the dust and you kill him. Milan positioned up on the high ground. IG's waiting for this delayed smoke for the Bounty Ruins. Yeah, I mean, as long as they have Boko on the front lines, they should have a chance smoke to breaks, catch him they here. Pop yeah. the yep. That is going to be a first blood. They do stack the stuns. Uh, but it shouldn't matter with the heal bomb flying through as much damage as it does. And bonus there for burning. Does manage to get the final touch. That's a tasty bit of a bounty from the 284 gold into his bank. See burning's items? <laughs> the double mango build on Sven. And they're still invading. They get more out of this? I mean, the Hellraisers are... They're trying to fight back. They are going to have lich. a sizable heal bomb here. You know, Q saving it for the opportune moment. And they're, they're going to get it. Q will go down. They want that bounty rune, though. Oh, I Swift! We'll, we'll still be oh able to get it. Is IG going to get all four bounty runes? They've gotten three. They're no, going no. for the last one. Swift, Swift got it. Swift got oh, it. Swift. Oh, geez. He did. He managed to time oh, walk just in front of him. <laughs> it was close. I got excited. He just about jumped in front of him and got it. But yeah, they're, they're going to get the other one. They got burning. It's so burning. Gets killed. Gets an assist. Gets a bounty rune. It's a good start for the safe lane Sven. Yeah, halfway to level two already. But uh, of course, how is they do manage to get that killer return, and it, it was Kaiser getting the kill as well. So I nice still help there for the mid lane leader. Mm -hmm. Already, I land that. Looking to to trade hits. Boker's in the neighborhood though. Milan does have to be careful. Dust is there. Of course, still on Boker. Lays down the sentry. He is fully prepared for Milan's shenanigans in the mid lane. Lanes are fairly even. I'd say IG wins the mid lane a little bit harder. Bottom lane, I... Legion Commander wins the first few levels. You can put a good amount of pressure on Timber until he gets that level 3 reactive armor. And then top lane, it's... Yeah, it's a Lich Void. So they're going to be able to pull the lane back always versus the Sven. However, it's you know, it's IG in their safe lane. So as long as they have their pulls open, 
they should be able to win that one. So I'd say IG is slightly favored in this laning matchup for now. Top lane already putting some pressure in on the tower. So just shoving and pulling, keeping control. Yeah, even popping the war cry and burning to make sure that they're missing those last hits under the tower because that pesky armor. Even throwing some heal bombs too. Oh, they're being obno obnoxious, not letting that void pop last it. It's another kill. Oh man. For Boca and OP turning up the heat as they head in and chase down Milan and that. Is not good news for the bounty when you sell off the game. Couple of minutes in, couple of deaths. I mean, we already knew it was going to be hard for Milan to do much in this laning stage, and it's indeed seeming to be the start that we sort of expected for the bounty. Yeah, it's really tough to deal with that because Sand King and Death Prophet just a much stronger duel lane. But at the being said, OP's getting blocked up a lot by Milan right now. Kaiser does not have a Dragon Slave though. OP be able to walk it off. So the really nice thing about this Legion Commander versus the Timbersaw matchup, you know, people probably think it's like, oh, strength versus strength, melee. Is Pavoku getting the courier? Oh, no, he's not mm. going to be able to get it. Is he? He can borrow strike and do it, can he? Oh, that's great. Uh, the Legion's uh. able to, um, of course, um, the right-click harassment is high for Roman Courage, but you can also press the attack and remove the Whirling Death debuff off, which really helps in that matchup. Yeah, XXS knows the ins and outs of that one. Every single time. Purchases it off right away. Mid lane for Boca, really wanting to do something with the Simbas rune, but Kaiser is playing careful. Top lane, learning being chased down by Swift. Both him and Q actually getting harassed pretty heavily there. Yark to see Milan. Oh, he may get this one. Comes in with a wraparound, looking for Q, and he'll take it. Nice. Nicely done there by Milan. Sees an opportunity, gets himself in place. Nice done. Oh, Razor's right. doing pretty damn good, though, in this laning matchup. They're able to, once they're starting to pull a couple levels, that's when the matchups become easier. The Timber Saw doesn't care so much about the Legion Commander. Once you get more points in Whirling Death, Lich gets more points in Sacrifice. They can keep pulling the lane back more and more and hurting that Sven's farm. But the mid lane is the big discrepancy where Death Prophet's going to be a good chunk ahead of that Lina. Burning. Let's see what kind of build he goes for this game. Expect the Mask of Man is... Yeah, just Transmom. Yeah. Transmom Blink. So now IG is able to actually pull the lane back, which should be super useful because they can be doing that. It's good. And where's Baboka making his moves? Could look to try and head down bottom. I mean, I mean, I imagine the Timbers was quite a hard kill. Yeah, it's it's still too difficult. Really, yeah, yeah the, the reactive armors are... Okay. It's just way too much. They need to make a move with, like, OP or burning to make it the kills on the timber saw. Need that magic damage. Later on, not just yet though. Yeah, mid lane is certainly the potentially easier kill and Paboka is gonna come through from the high ground. Kaiser. He doesn't have boots. He's gonna get caught out by this Burrow Strike. And I don't know if there's any way he can survive this one. Light Strike Array is gonna be totally juked out. And IG, take the kill. Oh man, nice. Paboka does what I like to do with sinking. What's Besides that? that over Venom. While he's roaming around like this, ah, like spe especially bit of effective well. when the the mid's not got boots. Yeah, it's, and when you're playing versus uh, like um, when you're playing with a uh, death prophet and you're sinking, you have that little extra slow with the spirit siphon, and everything adds up to, be able to keep that distance closed. But Boca actually tries for a random dust to find the bounty here, unable to find it. Milan going for a career snipe. It's coming. He may be able to get it. He doesn't have the second shadow walk though. Able to, oh, oh. With the speed burst. Very important. This is actually yeah. something we used to say all the time when we used to play versus bounty a lot is to save the boost. save the speed save burst. The boost. Never use speed yeah. burst when it's leaving the base. You use it in between your two towers. He might get Milan it. On might the way get back. it anyway though. Oh, oh he, was, he was just a little early so on that close. way. Mid lane. Again, Kaiser getting stunned up from Baboka. The rotation's coming in. This is what we were talking about. This mid lane is the big problem. Yeah, this pressure that they can put on, I mean just death profit is a hero. Able to dive towers with that siphon healing her up. It's pretty nasty indeed. And already, what, six minutes in, this is definitely getting to be a bit of a sharper lead in the laning stage for IG, even in comparison to how well they walked away with game one. Yeah. Nexus is starting to eat a lot of pressure, though. Once that Timbersaw gets level six, it's really hard for you to stay there versus Chakram. 
Now Bo Bounty comes down too. They've got another Chakram. Not a whole lot of mana though. Only a Chakram and one Whirling Death. And the Soul Ring was on cooldown. And now, uh-oh, Milan. Oh, he's, another he dust. would love to be level 6. Look how close he is. He was 2 XP away from level 6 oh, there. That's, that's what feels sense. bad. I mean, they get the kill, but 2 XP cost him that dual damage. He's the got is just everywhere. Now they can actually do something. If they get okay. the duel under the Do tower and they have a TP coming in. Yeah, he's gonna yep, go there it. it is. TP's I mean, coming in for Death Prophet. 33 stuck around for a long time there to get that tower. I mean, it, 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 make sure that IG don't get the deny at least, but he gives away his life and he gives XSS the plus 10. He killed the whole tower with the first catapult. So that's, that's pretty impressive. Yeah, for a Timberland. Yeah, seven yeah. minutes in. Yeah, you're right. It's a lot of pressure that he put on. But yeah, pays with his life. That's what we were saying, is that the only way that they had the kill is actually if they bring in the Death Prophet or the Sven for that extra burst damage. And perfect rotation coming out from OP, carrying a nice early TP on him. Another, another random dust. He's trying his best with these random dusts. Look Eventually how much again. he's buying. He's buying so much reveal. Yeah, he does see that because he sees the bounty with the sword moving. It's just a little late. This time, the courier will get sniped. Didn't have any items on, but still, nice bit of a bonus. The yeah. gold and the XP. Milan going for the, the courier snapping build, as we call it. I think maybe next time was one of the ones who... Or maybe next time, Pile I Die. The two points in Shadow Walk rather than yeah. two points in Shuriken. So you have that extra little bonus damage. And he's starting to... You see what Milan's doing? Carrying around a bunch of sentries. He's starting to block the, the camps. So he doesn't want Burning to get that accelerated farm. Take out at least two of them that will yeah. probably be stacked later on. And that's definitely the way to play yeah. uh, against Burning. Especially when he's on... I mean, you say we saw what he did on the troll. This time on a Sven. A hero that's even more farm oriented. Yeah. Gotta shut him down. Gotta slow him somehow. The Boca's been having some pretty good games lately. He's back, baby. The Boca from DAC. It really is. Yeah. He's this game he's already four and zero and two, so he's involved in six and seven of the kills, and he's not being greedy. He's not buying like wind lace and raindrop and just trying to be the super greedy guy. No, he's buying the sentries, he's buying the dust, he's making sure that OP gets his farm top. Burning top. Pressure's coming out, but XXS is there. There's a backup, XXS looking for the duel. He's going to go for it there. Has more than enough backup to him all. Yeah, certainly secure the kill there with a heal bomb as well from Q. IG. And again with the superior rotations and reactions. 33. Playing around now. Knows that the majority of IG spells have already been thrown down. He's pretty he's pretty buff versus yeah. these heroes. It's really Death Prophet is the only real great magic damage until they have like Epicenter online. Which isn't far away, but Boko's about to be level 6. So once they have that one, they actually have other ways to kill the Timbersaw. OP starting to threaten bottom with a DD. How's our Lich doing? Lich almost 6. Lina's just been jungling for a while. Void's on his way toward Vlad's. But yeah, HR is a bit shut down right now. Dire scan. It actually catches Milan making his way up. But Boka looks He's going to go for the dust he's gonna again. He's going to go for the dust again. He's still, he wants to. Oh. Milan. Oh, Milan placed a ward behind the tower. It was not spotted by IG. So now they do see the Dazzle. They're trying to make a committed dive here, but with only level 1 Timber Chain, hard to close the gap. <laughs> still do I mean, Bavoka's there. Holds the bow pack with the Burrow Strike. Q, does he survive oh, with the Shackle? He does. Bavoka may get Milan, though. No. Needed another touch to bring him down as Milan will survive. Ares is getting away with the kill. Getting a bit of pressure onto the mid lane as well. Kaiser and J4 moving forward. Bottom lane though, XX is nearly catching out Swift Ending there with a nuke. And that was a Chrono commit. It looks like Swift Ending... I mean, I guess he actually just used the Chrono defensively. He's not done any damage, so had to Chrono and run, so... I see the duels on cooldown too, so... Yeah, so maybe, maybe the duel and then the Chrono afterwards is... He only just survived. Yeah, I guess he Chronoed and just jumped away to survive. Yeah. Must have been something along those lines. IG able to claim that Tier 1 tower bottom without actually having to commit Exorcism. So that was just through sheer right clicks. And now they'll have the next that for the next objective they want to take. But Boca placed very deep wards earlier on too, so they always have seen Kaiser farming that jungle. Mid lane. J4. In a lot of trouble. Body blocks up. And uh, we'll throw out the chain for uh -oh. so right next to each other. This is their Q. It's gonna go right down in the hell, but Boca's back in with the burrow strike just in time to cancel the TP of J4. Still finds the kill on Lich. And IG will survive. Chain frost baited. I got scary. <laughs> I think the Boca though. probably gave Q a bit of a heart attack there. He ran right next to him. <laughs> Q's like, no! Get away! They have Shrine up in a moment. Q looks like he wants to use it, but Boca was trying to set up the top, but now they want to three men, and they put down some sentries to make sure that that 
ancient camp is not blocked as well. Check for that bounty hunter. How's 33 doing? He's very farmed. He's up there at the top on par. Doing pretty well. With OP. Second highest on the net worth, and yeah, pre I mean they're pretty much on exactly the same. Burning does have that master. He's going to get to farming in the jungle. And uh, yeah, of course, yeah, now they're safe with that D ward as well. Both of the, the camp blocks are, are now removed from, from IG's jungle, so they have control again of that. The farm will be there for the taking for burning. Yep. And it's farm time. Boboka now sets up top. He's going to push lanes out. Even goes for two points on the caustic rather than skilling the ultimate. Just knows he wants to farm, get that blink dagger online. Every time 33 kind of sees Death Prophet, he feels pretty confident. Every like every time that OP is showed mid, he steps up and starts farming the wave again. So he doesn't feel too threatened by the rest of the heroes on IG, clearly. He can be susceptible to dying to a God's Strength Sven, though. Something he needs to worry about. Or when Boboka does have Epicenter. But now as Death Prophet disappears, that's where 33 has to be careful. And careful indeed he is. Back off and we'll have J4 back in the neighborhood with him. They see him farming here. They have a ward in their own jungle. Just watching those movements coming in. They did lose that top tier one relatively early. XXS almost has the blink dagger finished up. So they'll have those pickoffs, but this is all just time for Burning to catch back up. Because he was versus a, lich, versus a Lich lane, which, you know, it sucks. You miss a lot of experience. You get yourself denied a lot of, a lot of creeps, a lot of gold. But now that lull period, definitely benefiting IG a lot to get this spin online. Now, Track is online, though, for HR. Maybe they go for a type of smoke play soon with their Chrono, with their Chain Frost making their way toward what I would think would be top to play around those two. The line is drawn. So they do catch IG out this. I mean, at the moment, IG, they're towards the mid. They have a smoke themselves on Q. So if they want to go for it. Oh, smoke also on Provoker. Yeah, they're definitely going to go for a smoke themselves. IG from the mid lane. Heading up towards the top through their jungle. They could have the chance of getting a good catch here. This could be onto Hellraisers. This could be scary if the Chrono's good with Chain Frost, but they do actually spot out Swift ending right away. He has the time walk away, does juke out the Pharo Strike, turns around, gets the bash, 33 jumping in, there's uh -oh. the Chrono. There's the Chain Frost as well. This is pretty perfect for, for Hellraisers. They've taken now Baboka. XXS will be safe just in time. Burning an OP, do look towards 33, will take down the Tibbers or Swift ending, trying to jump forward, but he's not going to oh, get no. XXS the heal, and in fact the duel is successful as well. Milan being chased, do they have detection? Doesn't look like they do. They have one century, but yeah, Q doesn't even expend it. So just, I mean, despite what well, seemed to be a great start for Hellraisers there with the Chrono, with the Chain Frost, just wasn't quite enough. Incredibly clutch save from Q coming out with the Grave onto XXS. XXS, in fact, trying to chase down Milan. Milan out of mana. He got cheeky, tried to reveal himself and go for the Dazzle kill. The dust will clip him either way. Oh, a space right now. Milan. Space I mean, for days. He's probably going to die, but space. Okay. <laughs> Definitely gone. Yeah, the, the initial setup. Uh, it looks Leech right. Commander blinked in as the Chrono comes yeah. out because the Void got a first hit bash on Sanking. They get the nice Chain Frost, but with Dazzle in the area, they get that nice Grave off. And the Timbersaw gets isolated, gets bursted down by the Sven. And then from there, it's tough for HR to do anything without that Chrono. XXS is ready to go mid again. Here we go, looking for the dual opportunity. She jumps in, finds it. Good silence there. On to Kaiser, making sure there's no reaction. They won't get the bonus damage, but they do. Oh, oh, they don't oh. get the kill. Oh, 33, able to turn it there. First down, Bavoka. The rest of IG sent back, and well, Frost Armor, it is pretty strong. Yeah, Ice Armor <laughs> plus the 20 reactive yeah. stacks. He lived for it all. 33. Close to Bloodstone now. Not, not too bad, not too bad. Sven is still farming, during all of it. And did he go for the blink this game? Yeah, he's just yeah. just picked it up. Just picked it up. So he wants to get involved a bit earlier on this time around. HR's not out of it by any means. Just a super close game already now, because the Void also has Vlads. Lena's been farming, almost Bloodstone. Actually, Bloodstone's pretty much finished. Timbersaw as well. So they're hitting a good stride. And yeah, they've gotten the majority of the towers too. Even top tier 2 is about to die too from HR. It's in deny range. But now it becomes more burning. 
the ancient farming show. Chucking those down really quick. See if they can do something with this smoke again. Look. Swift standing in J4. Milan. Bloodstones picked up in unison there. By both 33 and Kaiser. I'll say how just won't find anything this time around with the smoke. IG. Again, though, smoking at a similar time, but this Smoke time in a different direction. I'm just like, I, I'm just like looking at HR, and I'm like, wow, they've gotten four towers ready with their lineup. I'm like, super surprised about it. Yeah, they don't. They I mean, don't have building hitters. Pushing, <laughs> pushing lineup, indeed, that you expect to, to get this much done. Yeah. IG should be able to clean this tier two, though. Setting up a trap with that success. The rest of them are positioned behind, but OP says screw it. Let's go. Exorcism level two. During all this, Milan just soaking experience from burning from those ancients. So exorcism now expended. Maybe this is where HR looks to fight since they do have those double bloodstones picked up and Milan has been scouting, burning this entire time. Uh, maybe they'll be able to close the distance on him, but it doesn't seem like it without the void in positions just yet. So if then he's starting to make his way over. But he gets stuck in he jumps into the trees actually to get that position. Eight hundred eight hundred more for Blink Dagger and Baboka. So that'll be where their big team fight comes out for IG when Death Prophet Ultimate is down. Because right now they still don't have the resources. When Exorcism's on cooldown, their team fight isn't really that great for IG. No. Until they have that blink sinking. Eyes on burning. They look like they really want to jump. Look at these guys. Yeah, Milan's getting them a lot of info. This. They've, they've dropped down the sentry. So Milan's got to be careful if he comes back this way again. As XXS was prone to try and make a jump. That was going to be the case. So HR unable to find a real window to use their chrono and their chain frost during Exorcism's cooldown. So that's a big win there for IG not having to respond to a fight without Exorcism. While well, Burning just continues to get that farm up. And we've seen what these Fens do. We've seen yeah, what happens yeah. when they have this I mean, BKB Blink Dagger. He's at the top and... Yeah, without fights, without taking more objectives, there's, there's no way that anyone on Harris can keep up with the farm of Burning Sven. And Jared must have BKBs. And they still, they, they've got ways to fight around the BKB, but... I mean, in terms of control with the Chrono, but... They don't have... Damage-wise, yeah. it's just... Yeah, it's not there at all. Their physical damage yeah. is... Non-existent nah. for now. It's just avoid. I mean, being avoided, Lena right clicks. Not something too I mean, bad, you know. It's once something, but yeah, it's once Lena gets level 15, amazing. when you get the level 15 talent, you know, the 50 damage True. plus the Shadow Blade, which he's going for, then they have a little bit more right click. But still, in comparison, it's, it's mostly. Bad. Milan's still just scouting around. He's having a blast. XXS has Blade Mail finished up, so you can actually. So, yeah, you can isolate maybe the lean up to get those duels, but everybody else is kind of doing that. Baboka. Getting chased out here by 33. He should be just fine. He's got Sandstorm, Burrow strikes up in two. He's out. So right now it's just going to be a time of both teams forcing lanes out to each other. and so It's a farming game for the time being. Which is fine, because IG's now has Exorcism online, and this is where they can start to want to take fights again. And Sven's about that BKB. So that'll be the big indicator for, for IG, at least for me. Is the Blink Dagger on Baboka is going to come out at the same time as the Sven BKB, and then it's go time. They can smoke up, they can pick fights around the Roche Pit, or wherever they seem to have the best vision. No, I actually exists for that. that Blade Mail complete as well, definitely. Good potential of finding more Picos, but it's starting to slow down, as you say. Both of these teams. Deep again, Milan. Let's get spotted out by the creep. Knows that there's a sentry in the neighborhood now. Kaiser Kaiser steps up. Q already places the sentry down, though, and there yeah. it is the duel. Bye bye. Just gonna jump in straight away. Burning actually, actually popping the god strength. Burning's like, I, I gotta help you. Yeah. Oh, wait, he's dead. <laughs> so. I mean, he's still been a little careful revealing himself. Maybe he was hoping that that wasn't going to be a solo Lina. Yeah, I think uh, he maybe you expect more. with a movement like yeah. that, you think that Kaiser's going to have backup if he's if he's just going up for some sort of bold 
pick up like that. Yeah. Oh, IG wants to fight this bottom. They already use God Strength though, so burning will not be there. But OP now with Exorcism, they get the silence on, on 33. Oh, they do have Bro. Chrono if he can get it out, and he does. Chain Frost is going to be pretty big, but already, yeah, XXS wrapping around from the back of it all. Doing a lot. They've lost the Dazzle. They have lost Baboka as well. Maybe Hellraisers can clean this one up. They're looking towards OP. They'll cut him down as well. The dream fight there at the end of the day for Hellraisers. They yeah. land that Chrono. They take a lot from it. And they'll look to get a Tier 2 as well. Ends up hurting a lot that Burning had to expend, or accidentally expended the God Strength top and unable to be involved in bottom. It really hurts them, actually. And they did get the stun instantly on the Void, but... Yeah, their damage just was lacking. They didn't have that big frontliner to help them out, that big Sven. So HR definitely finding a little bit of a window there with their Chain Frost Chronosphere combo. Yeah, and the, the combo is, as we're seeing, proven to be pretty devastating. Now with the blink pickup on the Void, it's going to get even easier to execute. Yeah. IG needs to watch their their movements like that. If they're going to commit to defending, they have to bring all the heroes. I mean, even I think even maybe if Godstrike was on cooldown, could maybe help anyway, but I don't think yeah, no, he doesn't want to. So God strength was used. I think that maybe they should just sack the tower in hindsight. Yeah, uh, yeah that's you know hindsight's 2020. Maybe they'll try and do something now. Uh, have they got a smoke. Yeah, they're gonna go for they some do. smoke. Yeah, play. Q's got it. Blink BKB on Sven and blink on it, the sinking. No FP, no exorcism, but. Definitely not required to get kills. They've got a ward, they see the void. They catch him straight away. No way that he can get himself out of that one. They will throw out the chain frost. This time with no control such as the chrono. It's not gonna be too much of a threat. IG survive. Maybe they make their I thought they might actually just make their way into the rush pit with that god strength, but nope, they want to claim themselves a tier two. They don't have exorcism online. Just the easier play, the less risky one. They get themselves some very deep wards there too. They place one, of course, at the ancient where they cast the void, and that's a really, that's a new ward I've seen behind the tier two. This one here on the yeah, floor. Yeah, that one. Yeah. It's a very different position. We either see it on the hill or on the uh, low ground below it. So, it's a cool one. This timber is massive. Thirty-three. Yeah, Solar I mean, Crest, Bloodstone, Hooded Defiance. When you beat him and Kaiser, is still farming incredibly well. Yeah. Kaiser, I mean, I, again, he's, he's pretty much the same as Burning's farm. Burning's on the Sven. This is very impressive by Lena. Yeah, this time around, it's not like they're losing all their towers. They're also taking the trades. They've got five towers taken out. BKP now complete on OP. The smoke to be picked up. Burning does have an invis. Ooh. Does I mean, definitely with the Legion, he can go for this. Wow, well, oh, not yeah, if the Shadow Blade out's already there from Kaiser, and indeed Kaiser is gone. If he is, if he hadn't Shadow Bladed there, a Storm Hammer into a duel would have secured his fate. Yeah. So and now we're out. seeing the the Lincoln's going to be being picked up for Kaiser. I'm imagining we'll see one also for the Void eventually, maybe. I mean, yeah, he's looking towards Ags he's at the moment. He's looking towards Ags. Okay. I, I, feel, I, I, I agree with you. I feel like you have to get a Lincoln, sir. As we've seen. If he, he just jumped on, he's dead. There's a couple ways to break the Lincolns, but maybe they're just feeling they rely so much on the Chronosphere that they need him to have an Aghanims. Sure. They can't really fight without Chrono whatsoever. They only have him as their big guaranteed lockdown. Other than that, it's a Lina stun. So it makes sense to me why he's going for the Aghanims too. They're just, they just, yeah, they really need that to build a team fight at all versus IG. Burning, going for Bloodthorn. Pretty much expected versus Timber and Void. Very good versus both of them, so they can't escape. Game stays a little slow, but we do have the BKB that was freshly picked up by Death Prophet, so IG definitely wants to take a fight around those those new BKBs that they do have. And here we go. They start making their way toward top. There is a ward down, but of course they are smoked. Burning, however, it will walk through the vision of the Radiant. 33 is a tough one to go on. I say that. By the looks of it, with the amount of damage Burning can offer from the God Strength, he just absolutely melts. Oh. J4, not even going to get away there. Burning getting a smart touch through off the cleave and then goes in close for the finisher. I like how they they both just pop, pop BKB as well. Just be, or did all three of them? Okay, no, Death Prophet. 
them didn't, but yeah, two of them did. But now that's perfect. They still have God Strike active. They still have Exorcism active. This rush is dying in no time. Absolutely interesting. Bam! Disappears. Bam! Go. <laughs> Just like that. And ooh, Milan's got to be careful. There's a sentry down here, boys. I love when you say bam, Owen. Oh, they actually get the dust on him. Yeah, he walked in range. He did walk in range. That is another one. IG. Can he need more for three kills in succession along with the Roche? I mean, Hellraisers have actually smoked up. They're, they're not to be deterred. They want to try and find something big here. And I mean, XXS is a pretty tasty kill. He's got Blink if he thinks they're near, but oh, the Colonel comes out. Jeez. Did get the blade mail out in time. So, Kaiser <laughs> takes a bit of a beating in return, but they'll obviously still follow through, get the kill. Yeah. And a good little surge of gold. Gold and, most, and experience. The experience is probably the big, a little bit bigger one for the team. 2200 going their way. Open it nearly with the Yules complete. Milan. I actually feel very comfortable now after that rush. But. There's by no means is HR out of this one still. The only issue for them is that their Void is chain dying. He's unable to really get much off other than just his Chrono Sphere. He's not getting the kills. He's just the setup. So they're guarantee they're um, relying on later stages of this game that the Lina and the Timbers have to do all the heavy lifting, which could prove to be pretty troublesome versus IG's full tricor. It's gonna make Milan again, just constantly in this area. I mean. He's been doing a great job of scouting. Yeah, he's been giving them a lot of info. But he does walk into a lot of sentries and pay he with does. his life. Which may happen here again. The dust comes out and it's going to be free dual damage. Out to plus 86 now. Doing very well indeed. XXS. 7, 1 and 5 on the Legion Commander this game. These random sentries. Poor Milan. He's like, what? Another sentry there? Come on, guys. Give me a break. Q's just making his life super difficult. I mean, to be fair, did, well, I guess he didn't know this one was there, but he knew one was there earlier. Because yeah. he aggroed the creeps here. He knows there's... Yeah, he's just he starting does to know. realize he's, they're he's, everywhere. He's, he's, yeah, he's, getting he's drawing a, circles. A he's drawing circles. He's drawing lines. He's aware of what's going on. Burning shows top. So Milan draws a line. He's like, IG's probably meeting up with Burning toward top. And that's exactly what's happening. They are positioned there. And they're setting up for the defense. Boca, ready to go in. But now... HR seems to be a bit afraid. However, they are staying a little bit in the vicinity, but with that shrine behind is always definitely a big fear factor of getting that sandwich happening. You just get trapped. So yeah, they're just getting the hell out of there. Boboka goes for another random dust. Actually just misses Milan this time around. It's been all about trying to catch that bouncy this game. <laughs> I don't know how many times they've actually gotten, what, six? Six times now? Or like four, three times with random dust or two times with random dusts? <coughs> All ultimates are ready. IG still has the Aegis for another minute and a half, so it's definitely their way, their time to fight still. IOP. Coming in on the front of this. Swift ending will time walk away. Oh, J4. J4. Very dead. Yeah, XXS. Dual damage. Yeah, yeah, we'll take the damage. Jumps the Chrono comes out, but that is not as not as good of the Chronos as we've been seeing at all. Doesn't achieve anything whatsoever. And now Swift Denning himself should be in trouble. The silence comes through along with the storm hammer, and he does not get a chance to time walk out. Ooh. Not the Chrono that they needed there. Bit of a panic Chrono. Yeah, that was definitely dubious. Now it's gonna be a big timing window for IG has a lot of liberty now just to walk around and do whatever the hell they want. The Chrono is pretty much the only thing they need to be afraid of. And now it's on cooldown for 90 seconds, and he's still dead for 30. Hey, so. they got a hunt for Kaiser here. They realize that he's in the tree line. He's got Gem and Shadow Blade. He's pretty hard to pick up, but actually, Sanky does they, have They're going to see him now. Yeah, got they, they, got dual, yeah they can play him. with him here. I don't think Kaiser, Kaiser can't escape from this. That's going to be more dual damage here. No, he just... Okay, quick, quick deny. And during right this, move. though... 
they know that Chrono's down. Now Lina's dead for 40. Exorcism and Aegis are ready to go. Might as well go for the high ground push. Lyf is still active. is ready for HR if they want to expend it. They actually throw the Chain Frost up onto wow, Burning. We're getting a fair good bounces onto Burning. Burning does, yeah, indeed still have the Aegis. BKB comes out from OP. Siphon and the Silence onto this Void. Void getting brought down low. Has the Shrine. Still standing the ground, trying to finish with the racks. Burning jumps back in. Milan will be fine with the invis. But the Chakra Mount, there's the jump reward from XXS. Has managed to catch the Timber Sword. Can they bring 33 down in time? No, they won't get the dual damage. They do get the kill. He's down, buys back immediately. But already the melee racks is gone. The oh, fortification no, not quite there. Lead. It was indeed just, just after the melee racks went down. Oh, they may have actually been able to at least just hold that racks for a bit longer. Oh, but and imagine could. if they had Chrono here. It would have been beautiful. I mean, they do get Dazzle at least on the way out. Maybe they could get more, but they a blink and a Chrono. Ten seconds is painful. This Chrono opportunity slipping away from them. 33 just jumps in one more time. So that's a buyback from the Timbersaw. Yeah, buyback from Timbersaw. They lose the racks because of the Lake Lift. But, and then I guess they get one track kill on the, on the Dazzle. But huge win for IG there. Making the best use of their time while the Chrono Sphere is on cooldown. Yeah, unfortunate for HR though, that late clip. Definitely could have saved their racks there. I mean, that yeah, was just one hit. Used it. They have got that Chrono now though. Maybe they could do something in return here with this first jump. Four from Burning. This with the stun. Nice juke off with the Shadow Blade. Kaiser. Yeah, IG doesn't want to fight when the Dazzle's down. But especially when Exorcism has got strength or not. It looks like Hellraisers don't want to fight there as well. IG. Now back on the hunt. See what they can get. But land at the moment down on the bottom lane. Didn't get any eyes on them. There's a DD rune here. They're ready to go with this, yeah. probably. <laughs> They're gonna grab it up, make the moves. They see him with the DD though, they do have that that ward spotted it for a second. I heard a chain frost. Oh, he's pushing out the way. Carrier? Scott? Milan does catch it. Can XXS punish him? He's on the hunt for him. He's invis. Where's that? But Boca ports in. He's like, I'm on the case. He's looking for him. He's coming in. He's in the trees there, Milan. And Milan's made the right move. And why well, I set up a Boca. Finds a ward, though, at least. For his troubles. Yeah. Oh, they now see the four staff come out. Unable to get vision for that Yule Sub there. Shit. But Boca really doesn't like this bounty hunter. But at least he'll be able to clean up that. One obs ward that they did find before. The creeps get it. Oh, what? Rip 100 gold, Minus though. one. Yeah, minus one. That's <laughs> the worst feeling ever, dude. And the creeps, creeps take, take it. your last hit as a support. <laughs> take your ward. Just tilting. Oh, dear. I would be very close to having his Octarina completion. Milan. He's going to make his way over again. Let's be a little careful. IG, the three of them up in there. Kaiser. I need the trees once more. Has MKB queued up next on Kaiser? That boots a travel finish too. His damage is no joke if he actually is able to get the MKB. But for now, he's extremely susceptible to death. Eight armor on the Lina. Only eight versus this God Strength Sven. Dazzle with Weave. The Solar Crest as well versus Exorcism. So they are able to find the lean ever. He's very dead mid lane. XXS straight up for the solo duel. Jumps in, has burning there as well. Has 33 down, and yeah, what what happened mid? Bog? The Boca just epied him. Oh, okay. He epied the Lich while that was happening bottom. That was it. So just a solo kill, solo kill mid, and yeah, the burning and XSS combo finding 33. Who did? Who used the buyback before? So 45 seconds. Yeah. That he's dead. Right and they down have, on the bloodstone charges as well. Yeah. And they have exorcism. I believe Roche is probably their next choice. Oh, they actually find the lean on the yeah, outside. Yeah, they've got the Yule set up. Burning jumps forward as well with the storm hammer. Kaiser's gone as well. It's that. Well, screw Roche. Time to go high ground. They have exorcism ready. Starting to crumble here. Hellraisers. They certainly gave it a better shot than game one. They, yeah. they, they had a lot of hope. And now, as we can see at this stage of the game, one slip up like that, it, it's going to cost you easily another set of racks. As the push from IG is pretty damn insane. It's level 20 death profit. A second melee racks and range racks taken down. IG very much keeping themselves in firm control of this game. 13k gold lead. 
Yep. Ferocious up. They kill tier threes and Draxes. They can take some shrines. They have pretty much any window to do whatever they want in this game. Now, HR still can try to take fights, but it's getting very, very difficult. Void is completely shut down at this point. He does have the axe at least, so he has the slow cooldown chrono. But his damage is completely negligible. They completely rely on Lina and Timurso on those. So he has to they pretty much have to hope for five man chronos. But now into Aegis Cheese, it's looking impossible for them. Yeah, they yeah, as you said, five man chrono. Got a chance. Other than that, it's it's grim. so hard. Considering the heroes they have at this stage, and again, just IG with burning being in a fantastic place, top of the net worth. Yeah, they see Kaiser down bottom. And they actually, did I see? Okay, so I, the Timber saw actually committed for Aghanims this game. So okay. Oh, okay, they actually they're gonna fight Kaiser here. They found him. He's gone. He's dead. It's more dual damage for XX. Oh, oh okay, quick cool with the deny. Ha, he made Baboka look silly for it being. Baited. <laughs> Baited. Huh? So the, you know, Timbersaw at least has Aghanims, so they do have damage inside the Chrono. The problem is, when you do build this Aghanims on Timbersaw, yeah. I actually don't like it unless you have, like, over 15 to 20 Bloodstone charges, because you do not have the mana sustained for it's it. It's well, 400, yeah, for the pair of them it's, out. Yeah, that it's really absurd lot. how much it really is. But I think that they're feeling pretty desperate. So it's understandable why he uh, yeah, it's, that. it's great for pushing out the stronger creeps, but as you say, yeah. you, you got to make a lot of trips back to base. But I guess if you're being forced into the base, that's not the end of the world. Oh, no, Baborka getting the wrap round. He's going to have vision upon them. It will be Dream a bite. Chrono. It is a nice chrono. Where's the follow up no damage? Follow. There's literally nothing else being thrown in. Now, finally, the Chain Frost comes through, but already XXS on the high ground, dueling up the Lena, taking down XXS, gets the die back. 33 is down as well, it. and GG is cool indeed. Hellraisers tap out. IG get themselves two more wins under their belt. The Boca just charges in the fountain and dies. Enemy, Enemy incoming. incoming the Enemy new one. incoming. <laughs> All right. So IG take the series. Yeah. It was, of course, it kind of expected coming at this one. No, oh, Harry's just did look a little better there in game It's two. closer. They had a better game plan. Yeah. They had stronger lanes this time around. And they, they actually were making aggressive moves. That was the one that one thing I did like seeing. Yes. Last that game they were nice just completely see. passive, but yeah. this time they at least tried to make these moves. But yeah. IG overall, definitely the better team. And I think the overall lineup from there is, is just more natural to five men together and go siege. While HRs have not really great objective takers, as we stated, and they rely entirely on Chronosphere for their lockdown and team fight. Yeah. Well, there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. 2 0 here for IG. How are you? Well, I'm not. I'm not quite sure on the situation with the Cloud9. Cloud9 were playing right now, weren't they? I will update let's check you it out. Right I want now. to let's, 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 let's see how Cloud9 are doing. So Cloud9 are three and twelve, or three and ten. So sorry. they must have just won a game, right? In the series they're playing right now. I, we don't know actually. It doesn't. Check it out. Go on the streams. Go on the streams. They're okay. playing right now. I don't know. Right? I'll the they won game. They one. won game one. Who so. are they playing against? They should be playing Lyrical against Lyrical being Exocration, put on the spot I think, right? Is it Ace Exploration? Or it's DC. 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 So, so Cloud9 just won one game, one one game against DC. Oh, that's okay. big. That's big. We wait, wait. So wait. Go, so go back okay. to the quick. So does that mean Hellraiser is definitely bottom or is there still ways? No, there's not been locked in yet. Well, no, that was before this result. Yeah, this is before So now the with this result, they're 1 and one 13. 13. I think Hellraiser is now out. If Cloud9 win the next game and they're on four wins, then Hellraiser yeah, is out. But if Cloud9, Cloud9 hits one if Cloud9 one lose the next game and then Hellraiser is 2-0, Cloud9 in the final series, then there will be a tiebreaker. But all in all, yeah, it's So if it's C9 wins their next Hellraiser. game, they're good to go. Yeah. All right, so. C9 just needs to win one more game. Cool. And they're good to go. Well, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. I hope we hope that you sort that one out. We'll see you, pal. Uh, I believe who we've got next. So we've got Lyrical and uh, Malini. Lyrical and Malini will be joining you next on this stream, so we'll pass you over to them. We'll see you guys around.